Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video of mine. If you guys watch my weekly vlogs, you would know that I'm obsessed with Amazon and I feel like I get Amazon packages probably every other day. It's like an issue, but I can't stop, won't stop. I love Amazon. I love finding good deals for you guys. So I wanted to do a whole collective video and possibly do them monthly. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna have enough Amazon favorites every single month, but I could. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments and I will possibly do another one for February. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my Amazon favorites for the month of January. I of course have some fashion things to show you guys, some beauty products, and of course some glassware because you guys know the obsession is real. If you love shopping on Amazon as much as I do, definitely go and visit my Amazon storefront. I will have it linked in the description and you can also look my first name up on Amazon and the Amazon storefront pops right up. It is the coolest freaking thing that I am searchable on Amazon. Search Sonali and you'll see it right there and you can see all the categories that I've curated. So if you like a specific category, like maybe glassware, I have one for that. I have one for sweatshirts and hoodies or blouses and tees. So definitely go check that out. It's also a great place to get some gift inspo if you have a friend's birthday coming up. There's just so many cute things linked on there. So again, I'll have it in the description or you can search my name. But let's get into this video and I think I'm gonna start with fashion. For the first fashion piece, I wanna show you guys this free people dupe. I want to say it's copying what's called the easy, street easy tunic. I think that's what it's called. What makes it unique are these outer seams all over the sweater. I actually have it in white too and I liked it so much that I got it in this brown mocha color. I'm loving this color lately so when I saw they had it in this I literally had to get it because it's such good quality too. It's very thick and it will definitely keep you warm and you can like layer with it as well. And I love these sleeves that they're like kind of tight over here and then kind of like balloon out on the forearm. Try to scoot you guys back a bit so you can see the bottom but it has a cute little slit over here. And in general, it's just more of like a flowy, like tunic kind of shirt. This matching set is going to actually blow your mind because it is pretty much very similar to Set Active. And Set Active is like one of my main activewear brands that I love and always support. Like I literally have a drawer full of Set Active, so I'll never stop buying from them. But the fact that this quality is pretty much exactly like Set Active and is so much cheaper for the whole set is crazy, so let me show you guys. I feel like Set Active is definitely well known for their one shoulder ripped sports bra and when I say that this is exactly like the actual Set Active sports bra, it is crazy. So like I said, it has this ribbed texture and so does this one and it's exactly like it. The only difference on the bra is that it actually had pads in it that you can easily take out, which I did. It also has the same exact ribbed texture on the leggings. Ever since posting a TikTok about the set, people ask, does it have the same compression as the leggings? And I would say yes, the quality is very, very similar and it feels like it's sucking me in just like the Set Active set does. People also ask, do the leggings roll down when you work out? And Honestly, like every pair of leggings that I've ever owned, high end and not, I feel like they slide down slash roll down. Maybe not roll down, but definitely slide down. These don't roll down, but like if you're doing an intense workout, like burpees or something, they might slide down and you might have to like yank them back up. But I feel like if you're just walking on the treadmill, they shouldn't slide down or roll down. And the last question I wanted to answer is if it is see-through and I have this color in the Amazon set is pretty much an exact replica of the oat milk color from Set Active. This one's actually a bit brighter. I've had my Set Active set for a really long time, so I don't know if it's like gotten a little bit dingy. I really wouldn't say the leggings with this color is see-through. I mean, if anything, I don't always wear a thong. I know I probably should, but you will definitely see some panty lines, but I personally wouldn't say it's see-through. If you are worried about that, definitely go for a darker color. Speaking of colors, they do have quite a bit that Set Active doesn't carry. And I just looked on Amazon today at the set. They actually have this new light blue color that I'm definitely going to be purchasing. It is so cute. So sometimes they'll add in new colors, but I will say that these do go out of stock 
very often. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in this set active dupe, go to the link in the description box and add it to your cart and buy it now before the color you want and your size is out of stock. The next thing I wanted to show you guys are these super comfortable jeans and I'm gonna lower you guys so you can see the best part about these pants. So like I said, they're super comfortable and high-waisted. They flare out and they have a split hem, which is so cool. Definitely gives it a little bit of a unique touch. I am in love with this top. It is so flattering and it's kind of like a thin material, not in a bad quality way, but perfect for the spring weather that's gonna be coming very shortly. I could definitely see this as a going out top before it gets way too hot here in Austin, but I love this color. Like you guys know, I love green and I'm also gonna put my sizes on the screen so that you guys know kind of like what to order. I'm 5'3 and usually a size 10 in clothes. The last fashion piece I have to show you guys is definitely not like an everyday piece, but I think it's so fun. I actually got it for ACL. I think that was in October, so I've had it for a while. And it is this furry bucket hat. Look how freaking cute. Like I just feel cool in this. When I was shopping for ACL, I went into Nordstrom and saw a furry bucket hat and I was like so inspired by it. I was like, okay, let me just create an outfit around this. I looked at the price and it was $40. So you know my ass just went to Amazon, typed in bucket hat, Sherpa, furry, anything that I could find. And I found this and I was super happy just like with the quality. And also I didn't want to spend too much on it because I knew I wouldn't be wearing it every day, like I said. But I feel like this would be so fun to wear like day drinking or just like a theme party. I don't know. It's definitely a favorite of mine. I have two pairs of shoes that I've been loving and both of them are technically house slippers. So the first ones are these smiley slippers. These are my house slippers that I do not take outside so they're pretty clean on the bottom. Um, I just don't want to like get them super dirty and like have them track mud on all of my carpets. So these are my in-house house slippers and then I got these which are a dupe for the Ugg slippers and I swear they look pretty much exactly like them. Like I've never had the Ugg slippers so I couldn't really compare them exactly, but look how cute these are. These were only 50 bucks and I'm pretty sure like the Ugg slippers, I wanna say are like 100, so like half off and they look so similar to them. And I take Sophie out with them and Ryan was so jealous. He was like, do those come in men's sizes? Cause he really wanted some Uggs like these, um, but they're very comfortable, both of them are. I have three beauty products that I wanted to share with you guys today. And the first one being this brush right here. I've done a few makeup tutorials and you guys actually asked what this brush is specifically, which is kind of funny because it's probably the most affordable brush out of all the brushes I have. Um, but it is called the Blending Brush and it's from e.l.f. It's only $8. I have two of these and I use them for cream products. I'm not even sure if that's what they're supposed to be used for, but I love using this one for blush. As you can tell, it's like kind of this red color. This brush is really soft too, so it's not going to leave you looking like really streaky. I don't know if I would use it for foundation, but it could also be a powder brush and that's what I use the other one for. You can probably tell that I really like this product. It is Bio Oil and I was recommended this by my doctor who did my breast reduction. He said that this would really help with the scarring and everything like that. So I've been using this pretty consistently ever since September and I still have a little bit left. I'm definitely gonna have to restock on this. I really do think that this has helped my scars. I mean, time definitely heals scars too but it's always helpful just to have a little bit of a boost. So it says this helps improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks. It helps improve the appearance of uneven skin tone in both light and dark skin type. Helps smooth and tone the appearance of aging skin on both the face and body and helps retain moisture. So halfway through using this oil, I actually started applying it to my legs after the shower and just like arms and just like whole body in general um, because I just really liked the consistency of this. And if I picked out a pimple and I would get like a scar on my face, I would actually use this on my face as well. I feel like I talk about these quite often on my vlogs. These are sheet masks from Rael. There's four different types. This one's the collagen one. And in my opinion, I feel like they all do the same thing, but they do it so well to just like hydrate the face. Every time I'm feeling especially dry in my face, I will apply this right before I do my makeup and my makeup turns out so good for the day. So usually I'll put one on before a big event or like a special day that I want my makeup to look amazing. I forgot I wanted to add this to the beauty section, but this is my new hairbrush and I have not upgraded my hairbrush in years. And I just really want to take better care of my hair in general. I feel like sometimes I have this mentality that 
my hair is thick, I can like be as rough as I want to be with it. And I need to stop that instantly because like if I'm brushing my hair and just like going at it, I feel like there's a lot more breakage that's gonna happen rather than taking my time and like starting from the bottom and going up. And I just heard that this brush really helps to detangle your hair and it just makes it feel so soft after using it. And I've really been liking this brush. The bristles are definitely different than my normal brush just cause they're like plastic. And I was kind of worried about that because I really like like a stiffer bristle because Again, I can like go kind of ham on my hair, but like I said, that was stopping and I'm treating my hair with more respect because also I want it to grow. And so in the next couple of months, I'm going to try to like maybe take some hair vitamins, just do everything I can to have my hair long for the summer. Fun fact about me is that I'm obsessed with glassware. I don't know why, I don't know when it started happening but I am addicted to just like really unique glassware. So this set is my favorite of January and definitely more to come because I got a couple more and I need to be stopped because there's really no space in the cabinets. Like they're all full of my glassware, but these have this really cool ribbed texture on them. So you can buy a set of them or I believe you can buy just a single one. Um, so I actually bought two sets of them so I could have two of these tall glasses and two of the shorter glasses. Um, but if I were to do it again, I'd probably just get a single tall glass and get two of them because I use these more. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I definitely drink matcha and chai. And I feel like having a fun drink and a cute glass just really makes your day better. Next up are these cocktail garnishes that I bought for my birthday party in November. And we ended up not really using that many of them. So now I have three huge bags of these. So this one is limes and I think they are just so cute to put in your cocktails, mocktails. I pretty much will sell my soul for a pretty drink and and I love making them at home. I just think it's super fun. It says it's gonna go bad in October of this year, so I definitely have some time to use them all up. I do like the limes better than all the other ones I have. I don't even know what the other fruits are. I'm guessing a lemon is probably one of them, um, but the lime ones are the prettiest to me. And I think that they sell the packets separately as well as like a bundle, which is the one I bought, but definitely recommend the limes. So that's a wrap on my Amazon favorites for January. All of the things I talked about in this video will be linked in the description box as well as on my Amazon storefront like I said you can search my first name or click the link in my description box to take you to my fashion faves my kitchen essentials all the good stuff and if you can't wait for next month's Amazon favorites video if I do it we'll see let me know if you guys like these um, I do post a lot of Amazon favorites on my Instagram stories and I also already have an Instagram highlight so if you guys are wanting to see more of my Amazon favorites you can head over there don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in my next next video. Bye!